Hi, today is May 19th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 818 for the year, West End. Walking around Hell's Kitchen yesterday, and I see the West End Bar and Grill, and I'm like, this is 49th Street and 8th Avenue. How is this West End? What is this the West End of? This isn't anywhere near West End Avenue. I feel like the West End Bar and Grill is only the West End of something with very specific borders, like if you were to make a map of some arbitrary area of Manhattan and make it so that the western boundary happened to include 8th Avenue, then okay, the West End Bar of Grill would be the West End end of that. But then again, you've got Riverside Drive to the west of West End Avenue, so West End Avenue isn't really the West End either. So I guess I should just STFU. Poem number 819, just kidding. Okay, I was just kidding just then. Uh, I had that poem earlier this month called STFU that I performed a week ago yesterday with the new trout where I said that saying STFU is wrong and then if you want to say shut the fuck up then just say it. So I thought it would be funny to end that last one with STFU and then I thought it would be a good idea to explain the joke because it's like they say if you have to explain the joke then it isn't funny and the last thing I want to be today is funny which reminds me of those fucking poets last night. Poem number 820, Nobody Sucked. I went to a poetry reading last night and nobody sucked. At the end of the evening when the host, Matthew Hooper, uh, Hooper, uh, called for a round of applause for all of the poets, I declared loudly, nobody sucked because nobody sucked. I was astonished that every single poet was great. I don't think I've ever been to a poetry reading where every single poet was great. Almost all of them made me laugh. There were several poets that had poems that were funnier than any poem that I have written in, say, the past year. And I think maybe there were some poets that had poems that were funnier than any poem that I have written ever. And that made me think, these fucking poets who are funnier than me are really pissing me off. And tomorrow morning, when I sit down to write my poems, there is no fucking way I'm going to write anything that is funnier than like at least 15 fucking poems that I just heard now, just now, tonight. And they weren't just funny. Many of these very funny poems were also very beautiful and fucking moved me fucking deeply. I was almost glad I wasn't on the bill. No, I'm like, thank fucking God I wasn't on that bill. If I had been on that bill last night, I would have been like, nobody sucked except me. That's how good those fucking poets were last night. Poem number 821, The Choice. This morning will have to be a morning when I either embrace my mediocrity or agree to live in denial. I think I may have to live in denial this morning. Embracing my mediocrity would probably be too painful. On the one hand, it is good to have contemporaries that inspire you, but today I don't feel inspired. I feel defeated. So let me be in denial about that and pretend it isn't true. And the last poem of the day is poem number 822, Envelope of Denial. He felt like drowning himself in an ocean of self-congratulatory platitudes or burying himself under 17 miles of bullshit about how fucking great he was or jumping off the Burj Khalifa while flapping wings of delusion and looking down on everyone everywhere and pretending that he was above them even as he could see himself buried in bullshit and drowning in platitudes. He wanted to be stuffed into an envelope of denial and stamped and sent away to a fictitious address and then returned to sender because he was almost certain that by the time the letter came back, he would be feeling better. All right, that's it. That last one was pretty fucking good, right? Right? Yeah? Yeah? No, that's me in denial. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate you. I, I do. I appreciate you. And I appreciate this Fresh Beats shirt. Thank you, Lori, for giving me this shirt back in the day. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you.